Well, I would like to welcome all of you to this uh, workshop on uh, critical stability in Eritrea, in the Ettore Majorana Center and Foundation for uh, Physics. And uh, I, will, I just want to apologize for not being physically present uh, for reasons independent of uh, my will. But uh, I am sure that uh, Jean-Marc and Axel and Alessandro will uh, take care of you very well, so I do not feel too much guilty. The other reason why I do not feel too much guilty is that I think that many of you have been present three years ago, and uh, so they know the place, they know the center, they know Sicily a little bit, and okay. Now, I would like to say that uh, I, well, I would <laughs> just would like to introduce you to my office in, in CERN, in Geneva, and to show you that uh, this is an example of the topics which can be included in the workshop. This is old. It is a diagram showing that the conditions under which a system of three equal charged particles are, can be stable or unstable. The shaded region shows the region where they are stable. And in particular, there is this famous system discovered by Alan Mills, E plus, E minus, E plus. There is the negative hydrogen ion, P, E, e, minus, e minus, E minus. And there is the ionized, uh, ionized hydrogen molecule, which is PP electron. But now, uh, there is, of course, there are, uh, we know that there exist states with natural parity, parity being equal to minus one to the L, and uh, and, and, but there are also states with unnatural parity, which uh, were predicted, for instance, by Alexander Drax years ago. And uh, then you can repeat the same, uh, redraw the same diagram for unnatural parity. But Alan Mills made a theoretical calculation, and he found that the electron-positron-electron system is unstable, and uh, Jean-Marc uh, Richard has uh, confirmed this. He has made very accurate calculation. This drawing is not on scale. That is to say, these re stability regions are very tiny, but there remains the fact that also th the negative hydrogen ion has a state with a natural parity which is stable. And one and only one, and here also one and only one. This has been demonstrated by uh, the Austrian physicists Grosse and Pitner. Okay, so now I want to tell you that uh, this year we have decided to include in the program not only critical stability of matter, but critical instability of stability or instability of antimatter. And, uh, well, as you know, uh, Eriche, in this lecture, you are in the Paul Dirac lecture room, the person who predicted the existence of antimatter. And uh, Dirac has been many times, by the way, in Eriche, visiting Eriche, and he had much pleasure being there. And uh, antimatter is a subject which is dear to Professor Dikiki, uh, the founder of the center and the, the head of the center, he has shown the existence of anti-deuteron. But now we have, at CERN, we are, for, uh, a few years ago, we have been able to uh, manufacture uh, another kind of antimatter, which is anti-hydrogen, that is to say, an antiproton plus, plus a positron bound in a bound state. Uh, and uh, not only that, but more recently, we have been able to store anti-hydrogen anti in magnetic bottle. I mean, this magnetic bottle is like the one imagined by Dan Brown in his novel Angels and Demons. 
And uh, of course, Dan Brown imagines that you can uh, store an enormous amount of anti-hydrogen, anti and this can, can be a terrible uh, device, a bomb, etc., etc. We are not there. I mean, we have very tiny amounts of anti-hydrogen. But now that we can store anti-hydrogen, we can study its properties, and we also can hope to manufacture uh, other states. For instance, we can manufacture the anti-H minus, that is to say, the anti -syst the system which is opposite to proton, electron, electron, that is to say, anti-proton, positron, positron, and uh, see how it behaves. And uh, you know that eventually we will be able, we hope to be able to make extremely accurate measurements on the spectrum of these systems and check the CPT theorem. Well, so uh, there are many, of course, other topics which will be treated in this conference. Apart from this, I hope that you will enjoy this uh, wonderful Eriche city. Actually, I want to show you a picture that I have taken many years ago, around 1980, uh, of the main square of Eriche, taken from the balcony of the Edelweiss restaurant. And, uh, and in the middle, you can see my wife, Shu, and my dog, Darius. Now, I want just to finish. Of course, I wish to you a very successful workshop. Uh, I am sure it will be very successful, but uh, I hope you, that you will also enjoy the city of, of Eriche, that you will enjoy the food, the, the pasta uh, al dente, the dentiche, the pesce spada, the uh, melanzane alla parmigiana, and the uh, Sicilian wine, and I also hope that you will uh, enjoy the, the excursion, which will probably be at uh, Selinunte and also at Segesta, where you have one of the best preserved Greek temple of antiquity. So, to end up, I wish you all the best.